Hey, it's time for another menu planning grocery haul. Curious about what we're eating this week? Give me a second and we'll go over it. Okay, so this week I have a couple new recipes, but the rest of it's just tried and true. So we will just jump on into Wednesday. I have one cottage cheese bowl left for breakfast and I have one sausage and green beans left. And the reason I say one is because I've had to add two together to keep from getting hungry so soon. I made a mistake separating them out so thinly with the um, sausages from my meal prep. So that's what I did today and it lasted a lot longer on my belly. And then, this is a new recipe, green chicken enchilada bake and some corn on the cob. And then Thursday, I will not have any more prep left, so I thought I would do some liver mush and an egg. And, um, oh, I'm going to have to come up with something for lunch. I just now realized that since I'm using both my um, green beans and I used two today, that messes me up for Thursday and Friday. Oh well, we'll figure something out. And then for supper, I'm doing that other turkey tenderloin that I threw in the freezer with some gravy and then colorful couscous. That is our taste of home recipe. Um, the, the series collab from the taste of home annual cookbook set, Joan from Joan's Spring Plate and I are doing if you're not familiar, we collect the Taste of Home annual cookbooks. And so we pick a year and a category, and we have to pick a recipe from that to do for our little, small little series collab, just me and her. And so this time I picked Colorful Couscous. So we're going to see how that turns out. And then some kind of beans. Then Friday, uh, more liver mush and egg. And then the liver mush I have left over... Um, I think I might have that on Saturday too. I, I, I made a change and so I'm going to have to change that on here. And, um, I had to think of something for lunch. And then for supper, some skeddy. Then Saturday, I was going to do my prep, which I still will, but I changed my prep. I changed my idea. And then I put lunch on the fly because I didn't, never know if Dave was working down at the house or up here. And so if he's up here, sometimes we'll have the same thing. So I just put on the fly. And then for supper, we're going to do steak -em sandwiches. And that is from the last time we had them. We ate half and I froze half. We cooked the steak -ums with A1 and some, I don't know if this had peppers and onions. I think it did. And then some onion rings that I have in the freezer. And then Sunday, I'm going to do prep and prep. And we decided to have some hot dogs and hamburgers. And if he's home and got time, he'll pull out the grill. If not, I'll just make them in the house. And then Monday, prep and prep. And some crock pot country style steak and gravy with some creamed potatoes and speckled butter beans. And then Tuesday, prep and prep. And this is a chicken cordon bleu that I bought for David. There's two of them, so that'll be his. And I will um, eat one of the proteins that I put in the freezer a couple weeks ago, either a hamburger patty or some shrimp. And then creamy ranch broccoli and onion soup roasted potatoes. And so that's our week. Now for breakfast, I'm doing something different because y'all know I get like overdone with the, the egg dishes because there's only so many ways you can do them low carb. And then I had cottage cheese this week, so I'm going savory with glazed keto meatballs. That's a good protein and something different, so that's what I'm going to do. And then lunch, sub in a tub. And that is, um, I know sub places do those where you can get your sub ingredients in a bowl. I don't know if anybody calls it sub in a tub. That's what my bariatric paperwork called it sub in the tub that's the first time i heard it called that so i don't know that's what i call it but i come up with my own dressing based on what i like on my subs at um, subway and the dressing makes it taste like i'm eating a sub just without the bread and it's delicious so i thought you know what i hadn't done that in a while 
So we're going to do that. So that is what we're having to eat this week. Um, groceries will be a Walmart delivery and a food line pickup. So we will just turn around and get to looking at the groceries. Okay, here's my little Walmart order. I got my almond milk and my skim milk. And then David wanted some of this Hillshire Farms rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. Um, I don't know if we can read through the pack or not. Two ounces is, oh, I can't see how many calories. Oh, well, never mind. But it's probably really good for you. <laughs> and then we needed butter. And I needed some Monterey Jack cheese. I didn't need that much, but I couldn't find a smaller block. But that's okay. I'll just have it shredded and in the fridge. We need some more sharp cheese because we go through a lot of that. And then he was out of his favorite um, slices, the Deli Deluxe. And we need cream cheese for something. I can't remember. And he wanted one more yogurt. He He's liking this Too Good Peach. It is 80 calories, 4 carbs, 2 sugars, 12 proteins. So... That's good for a, a yogurt. And then I got my coffee and a couple little pouches of potatoes I like to have in the cabinet. And then he was wanting some fruit cocktails. I got him this um, cherry mixed fruit. Get a little bit more cherries in it, supposedly. And then for my sub in a tub, I got some black forest ham. So I, I got a lot. I don't believe I'll be using all that, but it's... Two ounces is 60 calories and two carbs, nine, nine grams of protein. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I got that. And then the Nathan's beef um, weenies for hot dogs. And that's 130 calories for one, one carb and five grams of protein. And then he wanted a couple more dinners. And this time he wanted the herb roasted chicken. So he got two of those. And then this is the chicken gravy I'm going to put on my turkey. And you can see it is low calorie. A quarter cup, 30 calories. And no protein, three carbs. So that's just gravy. And then this is for my recipe tonight, the green enchilada chicken bake something like that and it says it's mild so it better be very low calorie quarter cups 25 calories you can't beat that i got that and then we were needing more ketchup heinz is our favorite and this i got this this ain't a bit more healthy than the man in the moon but we loved it so much last time I needed another one in my freezer just in case we wanted it. And then they were out at the store. I would at least have one. And then David's bread. He likes the nature's own whole wheat. And then I got some hot dog buns. And then for our hamburgers, I got this little, it costs more than the Walmart buns. But I got this little four pack of brioche buns. That way we're not left with a bunch of buns we're, we're not going to use. And then for our, um, um, Shave the, um, oh my gosh, the shaved beef sandwiches? Is, steak them, steak them. You can actually get a pack of two sub rolls at Walmart's. A little pack of two, and that's all we needed. So I'm like, hey, I'm buying that. And it looks to me like the kind you need to split yourself, which is perfectly fine with me. So that and a couple other non-food items, and that was my little, um, you can see Sebastian's snacks back there. Um, Walmart haul. So next up will be food line. Okay, so here is my food line haul. I got my eggs and they had to substitute my ground beef. I wanted 85 for one and 80 for the other, but I got 80 for both. That's fine. I like 80%. I was just Going by the meatball recipe I'm going to make. It said use 85. So that's why I was going by that. But it would be fine. And then I needed to replace David's gum. And then I knew when I ordered it. They probably wouldn't have my low fat. So I had to get a substitute. Because it said stock likely low. And it was. 
I think people are so excited when they see the low fat that they get it all up. And then David needed some more tea bags, some decaffeinated. That's what he drinks. And I wanted some of the Tazo Passion for some iced tea. And then I needed an onion soup mix for my taters I'm making later on in the week. And I needed some shredded lettuce. And it seemed like there was something I needed a, two bags for. I needed enough of it to have two bags. So, right off the bat, couldn't tell you what. <laughs> I got me another can of mixed beans. Food line's the only place I can find them. So, I like to have those when I eat one. I like to replace it. And then David wanted liver mush. And that couple of days, I'm going to eat it. And I'm going to give him the rest. So, we both got the liver mush. And then the slaw is for my hot dogs and hamburgers. This is Ruth's. I like Ruth's. I'm trying to think. Produced for B&H Foods in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I knew that was North Carolina. And then David needed some more beanie weenies. And then for produce, I need a red pepper and a green pepper. A couple avocados. Some cherry tomatoes for my sub in a tub. Some cucumbers. Bananas. And then... I'm eating my Dave's bread, but I wanted this for a soft sandwich. If I eat a liver mush sandwich, I like this better than the Dave's. It's a little bit too dense for something as delicate as liver mush. So that's why I got that. And that will do it for me today. I hope you are having a good hump day. And I will see you tomorrow for weigh-in. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't know what time of day that will go up. Because I'm going to have Sebastian and then I'm going to have Jacob. So I don't even know when I'm going to get it recorded. Much less edited and put up. So <laughs> just wish me luck. I'll still, I'll still weigh in at the same time. It will still be the same weight no matter what time the video goes up. So anyway, I'll see you then. Have a good one.